Hello and welcome back to Let's Try. We're trying Cyber Knight's Flashpoint. Um, this is by Trez Brothers, who uh, they they made Templar Battle Force, which I have covered on this channel, and is a fairly beloved um, series. It's a, it was kind of a tactical uh, Warhammer adjacent, but not Warhammer adjacent. I don't know. It's hard. To, it, like it, it, the genres get blended. But anyway, the point is is these uh, devs are, are very seasoned at making um very good tactical games and i wanted to give this one a go because it looks like um they've really upped their game in terms of their like execution polish um they've traditionally made a lot of two-dimensional games so this one is a is a is kind of a huge step up being fully 3d but also i wanted to try this because i i do love me a tactics game and um this one looked like it was going to be interesting Assemble your Merc company. Um, we, I, I think we do actually genuinely have some XCOM in this. We're just going to continue. They said the, uh, the the opening blurb said we're going to just like give you an assembled team and uh, throw you into kind of not a tutorial necessarily, but like a basic match. And uh, after that, you can get back to your base and like actually tinker with stuff maybe. Um, and this is a early version of the demo, so we don't have all of our systems yet. We don't have all the mechanics yet. Um, and uh, yeah, I mean, things are still in, in an early state. So if there are bugs or problems, then it's not indicative of the, of the final version. But um, I, I was very interested to try this and I'm glad I, that there was a demo up during the Steam Next Fest. Are you sure you want to go through this rook? Uh, we uh, listen, I'm just gonna forgo, okay? Cause like I've been reading, I've been reading so much, and unless it's tutorializing, I just don't know if I can do it anymore. There's been so much text lately, so much dialogue, so much, uh, and then the world was plunged into darkness, and I'm I'm just like can't do it, can't do it no more. We've reached the rooftop. Plan is on schedule. Okay. Uh, help those two get clear of the remaining patrols. For help getting started, check out the library of short videos. Oh, that's that's a uh, that's really unfortunate. Actually, I understand it's early and uh, there might not be a um, full tutorial, so I'm just gonna kind of muscle along here. I've played I've I played a tactics game before. I I think I know I can uh, what I'm doing maybe. All right, so we can move with left click. We can hold Alt to sneak. Okay, so this is a tactical stealth game, and um, that seems to be our movement. So I'm gonna go ahead and assume that's our movement. But now, where are the bad guys? It seems that these guys are the bad guys because this is a camera. So I'm going to want to stealth move there and... Oh, he's got eyes on all of that. So could we... Hold on. Maybe can we like sprint... Um, stealth across there? Okay, so yeah, there's... Um, it. You get a certain amount of uh, time in their sight before, uh, before they, they actually see you. So that's how much room we uh, how much movement we've got left. We're still stealthing. We could sprint and that would get us to the wall. I'm, I'm wondering how much noise that would make though. So that noise has actually um gotten the attention of our of our unfortunate friend here. So I I have a funny feeling there's not much way I can Get out of this unless uh, I wonder if I have distraction creates a noise of distraction within 20 meters. Oh, there you go Select a nearby ground. Okay, so let's like um, Throw it behind him. So it to as to yeah, okay Cool now. I wonder are we actually doing any combat in this game? Is that something we're doing silence engage silence to make no sound while moving and gain plus 10% move speed Remainder of the time. Anticipation. Predict exact movement of patrol enemy within 25 meters and debuff with plus 10% crit. We do have a gun, but that doesn't mean necessarily that we're going to be using it. Um, 
Let's uh, end our turn. X Xfil team at hover pad. Okay. So I have to join, I think, my, my friends on the uh, on the pad. Let's end my turn for the time being. Um, we can do stuff with our other friends. What are we supposed to do? Oh, we have to get them. We got to get these guys out. We don't have to go in. We got to get them out. Okay, so we've got different moves here. We've got Overwatch, classic move, covering fire, marker sights. Um, all right, so if I move there, I have sight of both of them. I'm assuming that I am actually going to try and kill these guys. All right, now, attack with the AR-12. We've got an 80% chance of hitting them. We're going to do half their health and damage. And that's going to, apparently, that also uses our move actions, our move actions. So, um, movement and actions both take the same action points. Good to know. So let's go ahead. I wonder if there's anything I, else I could do here. I'm just going to go ahead and do this. Oh, that is a really unfortunate camera angle. I've been having a lot of trouble with like dynamic camera angles in uh, tactical games. Or it does exactly literally that and I can't really do anything about it. All right, we're going to do an overwatch. Select. Yeah, so let's do an overwatch like there see you know you never know maybe that'll turn out to be something okay so this person is uh melee that's kind of um oh i didn't mean to move shoot i was i was actually gonna try and sprint this um this guy or sorry zasha seems to Seems to move silently despite um, sprinting. Let's um, let's see how this plays out. Why is she not like hunkered down or like using the cover? That's a bummer. All right, let's um, let's call let's end that turn and see what how they how this plays out. So he's doing a patrol. Wow, he stepped right in front of my character. That guy moved. My overwatch went off. Good. Got him in my sights. Okay, so this guy's fully alerted. Although he didn't really do much with that. With his turn. So what do we got going on here? Have we triggered an alert? We've got more company up here. I wonder if we can just like shoot the camera. Oh, that guy. <laughs> I mean, we got like ragdoll uh, physics when they die, and that's a really good position right there. <laughs> that's fantastic. All right. Um. So let's, uh, let's do let's sprint. I I kind of I don't know if like there's a way to do like points. I may I guess I may as well just like move where I want to move. I just don't want to go to the camera. Is the only thing. So I think that like depending on how far you sprint um, means that you are creating more noise. Oh, this guy is, this guy is still here. We need to take care of that guy. Um, let's do another overwatch. Overwatch worked out pretty well last time. What? Did that guy move just now and then we got the overwatch because that's a little strange all right uh now i want to move over here how many action points does this take a two fantastic but this guy is looking like right at me there's actually amazing little um this is this is really cool so there's a little blind spot you can see here this guy's looking that way um and this guy can't see behind this this unit so if i actually go like right there I should be able to sneak in between their blind spots. Oh my god, that's actually really cool. Alright, so now let's use this to just... That that camera angle was unfortunate again. But now I'm in full sight of that guy. In theory? 
Um, while carrying melee weapons, buff yourself with invulnerability to all damage until end of turn. Why don't we do that for now? Up to two hits. I mean, we're about to... This, this. There's no way this guy isn't gonna try and take an attack on us. And now this guy... <laughs> Emily, uh, is like right there. Can we not... Can we do like some CQC stuff to this guy? I don't think we can. Let's just kill him. Kill! Shot him right in the head. And, uh, he just kind of took it on the chin. Uh, and we missed. This is good. 54%. I mean, I assume it's going to be hard to shoot a guy who's right in front of you. Missed again. Nice. Alright, well, that's unfortunate. He's going to shoot her now. Taking direct cover. Oh, he shot the other... The... The... Wow, he shot the one person who was in cover. And not the person who had, like... Okay, well... That's fine. Um, I'm gonna move... Oh, he shoots her... Okay, so if they see you, they shoot you. They don't have to wait till their turn. Wow, these camera angles are really unfortunate. I... I hope they get a little bit tweaked <laughs> before the full release. Because um, I am getting really unlucky with some of these camera angles. Okay, so there's only one bad guy left. He's over there. Um, we took a little bit of damage, but um, not too much. So let's move over there. We didn't make any noise. We didn't alert the guy. Um, despite the fact that I'm, I don't know how to play this, oh, how to play this game, like I haven't seen this tutorial, this is pretty easy to pick up. Um, I wonder if there is a, there, I wish there was a way to be able to see where the enemy is looking while I'm trying to figure out my move. I guess you can. Um... Okay, so I can't... Okay, there is an actual very small window. Again, using the fact that they can't see past bodies, which is an interesting uh, mechanic. Uh, we've got a very small window here where I can actually get line of sight on them. But now, do we have a chance of hitting our friend here? I guess it doesn't matter. She still has that invulnerability on. Can we... We can't do Overwatch, unfortunately. Immediately recover 22 recoil and buff yourself. There's recoil. I didn't realize this one Okay, well, um, let's just pass our turn. We don't have enough wait delay action. We can delay our action. That's kind of cool I like that. Um, that, that feels like a D and Dism, you know um, I appreciate that so now again, we can probably move to We can make use of this window doesn't look like actually we can. Doesn't look like we can actually. So I'm going to go ahead and just delay her action. Is this the end of the turn order? Okay, this is the end of the turn order. So she can't actually delay the action. We can try and take a shot on her. No line of sight. Okay, so never mind. So I don't know. Let's let's try some. Let's experiment. Since we don't, uh, I don't know necessarily how to play the game optimally. We have an opportunity to experiment. I'm gonna move here, and potentially take a shot from them. No shot from them, but now I can shoot them. Cool. Okay. Did not kill them. Not enough ammo. We gotta reload, which takes an action point. I think I'll have enough. All right, we're re reloading and then we shoot them again and we should uh, from now on reload between combats or engagements So Aaron over here is gonna want to reload Wow, he's it takes a lot of time to reload his um, he's got a lot of action points 
I wonder, can you like loot bodies? I don't know, but we're we're gonna move over to that heli helipad. Small quality of life I've gotten really used to in Battletech is um, when you're out of combat, you can like move all your units like at once. You can you can move another unit while the first one's moving, and I, I've grown to really appreciate that quality of life. All right, let's um. Just get everyone on that helipad. Okay, d delay. Move them on the helipad. All right, we're good. G not good, not good. What do you mean not good? Spit it out. We've got ultra tech military grade encrypted comms piping in. A bird is coming down on the rooftop. It is a freaking ultra tech response team. By hell, we were made. Someone talked. Get down, here they come. Oh no. That bo oh, I see, on the other helipad. So are we gonna have to shoot some more mercs? We're going to plan B here. Rook and I are headed to the basement and we'll take the cargo truck out of the building. They've interfaced with the building security. Ah, can't get that way. We need an exit. Working on it. I've got something. Schematic show an old panel on the second rooftop elevator. Oh god, that's that's far away. It's an old TX-80 interface. Um, it's old enough that we can spoof the protocol. Gotta get close enough to tap the trunk line and... Okay. Yay! Um, we got we we got more mercs. That's a lot of people. Stop spawning people. All right, we're gonna need to get one teammate inside the area near the TX80. Then we need to hold that area to give Hammond a full two turns to work. All right, that's that's the part I need to know. Gotcha. Um, uh, let's. Sasha is the only one that can do may like close range. I think Aaron and Zasha will stay behind and maybe take out some of these goons. And then uh, Emily will go. Oh, but she's like last in the turn order right now. Why is she last in the turn order? That sucks. Okay. Um, well, let's see what we can accomplish here. So this guy has got really good line of sight. But we can, um, you will be heard. Oh, that's because he's, um, sneaking. It takes a lot more action points, a lot more action points to sneak than it does to sprint. Here's my wonder, though, is, like, if I shoot, if I take a shot, um, is that not, like, just as loud? 98%, so I have a 98% chance. We can shoot him. Yeah, they all heard. They all heard that. Um. Okay, like I think you can probably play this stealth. What is this? It's charge up to seven meters in a straight line, melee attacking an enemy within three meters of your path without generating recoil or triggering Overwatch. That's actually really nifty. Um, okay, so if we, they've, they've got, like, good line of sight on, on a lot of stuff. So what, what if we moved, like, here? That's going to be a lot of movement points. I kind of just, like, I know I don't, I probably don't have to do combat, but I do enjoy doing combat. So let's, like, move over there. How much does this cost? Two points? Okay, let's move over here for now. So what I want to do is I want to do um, like a sla this slash slide, but I don't know how far close I can get in with only one point. Um, pretty close. I don't think close enough though. I like that it shows me the distance on the slash slide um, at my new location and not the um, the other one. 
the, the, my current one. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna move over there. Hopefully, sleeping, but security AI may activate if security escalates to level one. Oh, interesting. Unfortunately, I don't think I'm gonna be able to shoot anyone. Can we actually hit this guy? We have a gun, I noticed. Can we actually shoot this guy? No. Um, if we could kill him, it would actually be worth, like, getting in there. Let's do it. 58% and it would kill him. So we, we have a pretty okay, not terrible shot, a chance. Yes! All right. Worth it. All right, let's end the turn. We'll see what they do. They're gonna, this guy's patrolling. He's on patrol. He's on patrol. That guy ended his turn. He's not doing much. He's just looking around. So, I mean, like, I don't know if maybe our guns are all silenced. I'm cool with that if that's the case. So this guy is looking straight over here. Difficult to um, sneak around with that happening. So let's go, let's follow plan A and um, get Emily over there. We'll tr maybe we can, um, Roe is suspicious. Maybe we can take a shot on, on Roe there. 84%, not bad. Cool. Um, so he is looking over here, but he can't see it. So we actually got him at angle at a good angle um, We're gonna pass our turn So this guy's just gone back to guarding he's like yep, I mean I uh, uh oh Something saw me they've activated the security This is a uh, this takes two ability points i believe so we're just gonna go ahead and take two shots oh one 100 wow pop 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 and then we'll take another shot pop 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 he's dead cool i think that was gunfire okay so they do hear the gunfire we can do overwatch um we'll do overwatch over here it, you seem to have like zero limits on the overwatch which i kind of like Now, what I'd like to do is, um, sprint over here. Sprint, 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 sprint. And then, um, I want to see if I can do a slash slide. We only have two. No, we, we can't. We cannot. Can we take a shot on this guy? Nope. Okay. Um, can we, we can't do an overwatch either. Let's just, um, oh, what's this conduit edge? Melee attack hits unleash melee weapons conduit damage. Oh, okay, interesting. Engage light foot to make no sound while moving up to 4 AP running speed without generating recoil. Does not avoid visual dete uh, detection. Um, how, it takes two attack points to attack with a slash blade. I would, um, I might argue that the melee weapon should be less action points than a gun. Uh, if only mechanically, because it, you're going to be spending more action points to move around. But I'm going to end my turn, even though they had more stuff they can do. Oh, no. Intruder! Uh-oh. So they're engaged. This guy is uh, actually very conveniently distracted. Pretty sure we can actually... Can we hit them from there? Yeah, 70%. Pop, pop, pop. Pop, pop, pop. Nope, miss. One more try. Oh, we don't have enough action points? Oh, we're out of ammo. Okay, reload. That's unfortunate, because they're very close to dead. 
We can do a lure. Maybe. What happens if we lure them away now? No? They they are not lurable right now. Okay. Gotcha. Aren't lurable when you're taking genuine fire. So these things are rotating. Um, the uh, security cameras. Or at least that one. Um, Zasha is in all kinds of hurt. I want to do this. I want to do the slide. I want to do the slide. Yeah, that doesn't kill him. Okay. Uh, yeah, there we go. We killed him. Nice. All right. Now run away. Run away from the camera. Good enough. I mean, we're not the stealthiest crew, but we do get the job done. I wonder if I can take out the camera. Oh, I can actually um, shoot this guy from here. Wow. I feel like um, height is actually a huge advantage. Or maybe just this guy has like a crazy distance or range to uh, how far he can fire. But anyway, so he took that guy out. We're all good. We are all good. No one left. We can um, start to deactivate the elevator. Click to approach. Once near, click to loot. Deactivated cores. Valuable corporate property that can be sold or traded to contacts. Fantastic. Is that not... Oh, that isn't where, we, where we're going. That was just some extra goodies. Did not realize this. So we're at um, security level two. That's not good. We should be able to take this guy out, though. Stop right there, intruder. Listen, bud, you're you, you're dead. You're already dead. You don't even realize it. Or maybe not, actually. Uh, apparently, you have a lot of health. Do we not have enough action points? We don't. Okay, this guy is a bit tougher than the other ones. All right, Zasha, what is Zasha going to do? Zasha's going to get into position to um, maybe melee attack this guy. And um, we are in sprint mode. This is good. Can we do another Z uh, slash slide? We can't do it over this obstacle. So I made a mistake in getting behind this obstacle. But if I was to move like there, I could probably do it. Select nearby ground. I, I, I am trying to move. I am trying. I'm just trying to move. I don't want to do that right now. I would like to move. Thank you. All right. Now we can um, do it. Attack. Do it. I'm getting such unfortunate camera angles. It's kind of funny that it's happening like so consistently. All right. So now plan A, we're going to go and um, do this. We're going to deactivate the thing. We're going to hacker man into the base. I'm here, but this equipment looks pretty hardened. I'm patched in now. Just stay close to the TX-80. I'll show you what you can, what I can do. I hope you're not all talk. At least one Merc state needs to stay in this zone until Hammond gets the force gate lowered. Okay. So in the meantime, taking losses. This guy is gonna attack someone for sure. Okay, it's Emily's turn. We're just gonna delay the action for now. I'm gonna continue. Uh, oh, right. He needs to reload. Let's 
70 percent i'm surprised there isn't like a accidental chance to hit your friends because that's a tricky shot right there Okay, he only has one ability point left. He can't do much else. Can he do it? We can't do an overwatch. Oh, I see. That's a special ability. I thought, generally speaking, overwatch is always like a, you get it for free if you have action points left over. Not the case here. Slash. All right. So we're good. Um, uh, the security level is raising. I, I don't know what I like. I guess that means that um, the more it raises, the more enemies they're gonna send in. So we're just uh, ending our turn in that area and waiting for the uh, for Hacker Man to get in, as it were. All right, perfect. As promised, your exit. I didn't think you were gonna pull it off. Emil, Emil Beckett has newfound respect for Hammond's technical support chops. Positive relationship formed. Okay. We've got some interesting deeper mechanics. Relationship mechanics between characters. Um, so I'm going to move Aaron over. Ooh, uh, run. Run past the cameras. Okay, end your turn. Zasha, same deal. Run. As fast as you can. Ch the camera's either going to move this way, in which case we should be fine, or to the right, we should be okay either way. Emil, get in there. I'm not sure what decides the initiative. It's maybe the only thing that I would like clarification on. I see we have overwatch back. I'm not sure how we gain those back as well. Oh, I see. It's got a cooldown. I understand. It's got a cooldown, but the cooldown just gives you a, a pip back of that special power. That's actually really good. That's a good way of doing things. So we're at security level three now. I don't think that there's much of any way you can like prevent that from increasing. I think that you just have to kind of like work with what you've got. We're not going to kill that man. We're just going to leave. Elevators engaging. We're out of here. Rook has exited the building and the cargo truck. You are, you all know your exits get to them. I want a strict 24-hour dust-off period. Don't you dare bring an Ultratech tail back to our safe house. Okay. Victory. Is, uh, that's, this demo isn't over. Now you will return to your safe house and plot your next move and try to figure out who set you up. By the time we release to early access on Steam, we'll have more enemy variety, improved AI, Plus eight classes to build your squad and multi-class, all the strategy layer, heist planning, underworld networking, faction reputation, and more. Dozens of heists and special story missions. 40 plus hours of gameplay. I mean, I'm already very impressed with what I'm seeing. Um, if, if this is like, you know, they get the systems right with uh, some of the RPG mechanics, like building your character, um, and they get, they like have that kind of sweet spot satisfaction when it comes to progressing your squad um that'd be cool if you can do like sandbox heists where you're just like setting up a heist and then um it, they have kind of like generated missions so you can like grind up some resources and uh experience that would be like amazing 40 plus hours is a really is is really impressive for the moment we are the safe house is optional uh operationally secure What's our next move? We go dark and wait. How long will it take Rook to recover? Not as long as you might think. They probably dumped a gallon of patch and stitch nano down in there. And you know, he is flying high on all the on medis. Um, I'm gonna... I'm sorry, I'm still skipping stuff. If I do a series on this game, and I, you know, I'm, I'm getting more and more into these kind of games um, with my, like recent uh obsession with battletech um i'd be i'd be game to d to do something with this 
Rest and recover. Aaron recovering from their injuries at the safe house. So we've got um, we've got me uh, mechanics that I am familiar with. The market is locked, so we can't check out the market. I clicked it anyway, just to check. So we've got um, maybe a XCOM-ish style of like um, downtime where you can like roster management is disabled in the demo. Safe house base management is disabled in the demo. There are no missions available at this time. So are we just, are we just passing time for now um, while we wait for people to recover? It takes time to recover from Spinal Splice, even for someone as tough as Rook. Should you really be back on your feet, Rook? Evening blur, you're up late. We've all been stewing here. It's been a nervous wait for you to recover. But look, let me take you out back to bed. Okay, listen. Listen. There actually, there might have been some tutorial stuff going on there. I want you to meet Dalton. We used to fight shoulder to shoulder in Ward 4. I think we can, like, skip certain things. <laughs> um, I've missed you, Rook. Okay. I, listen, I do care, I promise. I just, um, if there's like one more mission, I wouldn't mind, uh, checking it out. Octave's, Octane's Haven Smokeout is ready to be planned at our Command HQ. Additional conversation and options for each job are available from the Command HQ. Okay, so this is the pending heist. Haven Smokeout. There's, in fact, two um, pending heists. I have to assume that we only have access to one in the demo. So let's see, let's see what a heist looks like. We are running out of time to complete the Haven Smokeout that Octane has offered us as a way to cancel our monetary debt. For the demo, failure to complete this... So am I, uh, am I... Oh, okay. I'm not doing the correct thing. I'm supposed to be actually doing the mission, not waiting for the mission. Hacking required stealth optional. Haven smoke out stealth optional. So we're in the mission planning. Client is Octane against Ghoul. Um, I'm assuming there's going to be maybe be like a faction reputation. Requirements, the cy Cyber Knight must go on a heist. Earn 92k for successfully completing primary mission, mission objectives, plus 5 trust with Octane. Extra 20k for killing the Syndicate's ghost wire. Not sure what that means, but I, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll try. Plus 2 favor with Octane if completed in 12 or less turns. 12 or less turns, huh? Eh, that's a, that's tricky. Um. So how do, how do we progress this? Oh god. Um not seeing any okay here we go. We have to click on the actual blueprints. Leaked loose loot manifest not available. Insider agrees to share asset manifest. So these are not available. Plan path. Take out the D cartel soldiers loyal to Ghoul and recover the Q endpoint. This, um, this interface is a little bit clunky, I ain't gonna lie. I, I straight up don't know what, there really just needs to be a big mush, big button that says, like, start the mission. Um, I'm gonna have to do a pause to try and figure this out. Okay, there, there was a button, I guess I didn't see this, or maybe it wasn't available there, so it's, you can, you can, you're prepping three mercs. Um... So let's go ahead and bring, we're bringing Rook, Emil, and uh, we'll bring, I do like uh, Aaron's range. So we'll select Aaron, and um, we can, I'm sure we have more options over their personal loadout when the, um, we have the actual, you know, full release. But um, for now, we're just going to let them be default. I don't mind. I like, I like their abilities. They are, there's some good variety between uh, characters too. I, I do appreciate that. Like, um, you know, we, we've got like a melee unit and they actually have some interesting melee abilities. I often find that, um, 
it's the melee the melee unit is made like arbitrarily way more difficult to use in some cases hideout is just ahead all right we're going to skip trying not to skip like actual valuable information the drop box and the ghost wire are in there somewhere all oh, right so we need to kill the ghost wire we need to move quickly and quietly enough that they don't just slip out the other side so this first part we're going to want to do stealth and then maybe later we can go in loud the closer we can get without raising the full haven alarm the better give me a better read on the battlefield blur i need more tips our team is mostly carrying silent weapon as our second so we can score more quick and stealthy kills if we work together oh that's actually good in uh, info if we watch we can see the thugs at the haven's front entrance are on guard on a guard pattern staying in one position but checking different directions each turn They've got the entrance covered, but aren't going to move unless they become suspicious. To our benefit, they are far more, uh, they are far enough apart that they can't see each other. If we go in the front door, we will need to keep an eye on this inner guard. We could lure the guards away from their post to take them out, or plan to take both out in a quick one-two kill. From here, we might split up as we take the hideout. Use look ahead to predict enemy movements. Be patient and avoid being seen. Okay, there's some there's some cool stuff going on here. Sometimes we will want to delay our action to let an enemy move out of our way. All right, let's uh let's get going. There's another unit over there. I mean, I'm uh, historically very very bad with stealth. Let's um let's get everyone like to this area. I don't know if just just moving like that is enough to generate noise. Tactical surge, buff yourself and teammates within 25 meters with plus 2.3 action points and one, plus 1 move point. Sorry, there's a difference. I wasn't aware there's a that there's a difference. There's a camera there. So our friend here, Rook, has the ability to disable cameras. He's also got look ahead. Why don't we just go ahead and use look ahead? Um, allowing prediction of exact movements of enemy. Okay, so they're going to continue looking that way. This guy's going to move to the right and look that way. This guy is just going to continue looking that way. Okay. Well, this is good. Interesting. Good intel. Um, I don't know how long that lasts also. We're going to want to wait. This camera uh, could very possibly move to our left. I feel like... Since it is technically in the look ahead, we should get um, a read on that. May, may rotate. Detects intruders by sight. Okay, blocked by cover. Gotcha. I'm not going to bother um, sneaking just yet. Though we are in range of the camera there, it should be blocked by the, uh, the wall there. All right, now let's see what happens. So that guy turned. How come we didn't have a, a read on that? That guy turned as well. Does look ahead not, you know, guarantee that we know? That guy's moving over there. We don't really care about that guy. So yeah, the camera did turn. Um, so this guy is going to apparently turn back to the, the, the right. This guy's going to move all the way over there. That's great for us. Um, because we don't necessarily... We, we want to we wanna kill this guy. He's kind of looking in an unfortunate position. 
We're going to switch to our secondary. Um, do we have range on this guy? Probably not. Oh, wow, we do. 80%. Now, the thing is, is that who's next in the turn order? This guy. I don't think that he should be a problem. I think we can start taking shots on this guy. Um... It's, uh, it's tricky. I think we can do it. Okay, perfect. So that guy's that, that's that guy's, uh, taken care of. This guy is hopefully not going to even notice because he's going to walk away. So we could start to make moves. I don't know if we can shoot this thing, right? They're, they're really going to try and blow it for me. Um... We're going to delay. This guy is moving slightly closer to us. The camera is a bit of a concern. I won't lie. Um, I'm just going to, I'm just going to have, let's delay our action for now. This area is kind of a pain because it, it offers no way of getting out without waiting for that camera to rotate the other direction. So the only thing is that we do we don't have like this guy is no longer in our look ahead. One thing we could do is um, I can't delay it again, unfortunately, but uh, what I should have done is have uh, delayed everyone past Rook and then have Rook disable the camera. So let's go ahead and do that. He only does it until the end of the turn. So unfortunately, him being at the very back of the turn order is kind of the worst case scenario. The camera has turned back around and actually we've got a good moment right now. However, this guy could turn back around. So we're not going to waste our camera business. Um, it doesn't say that we're making any noise. Uh, I don't think that we can do this. Let's go ahead and, um, oh, we don't want to use this yet. Ah, uh, we, we get it back in three turns. Let's go ahead and use this. Give everyone tactical surge. And then hopefully we can get in through this front door. Let's just, like, go there and, um, try and see ahead so we can see inside now um okay there's a lot of problems with this like we can get inside here but there doesn't seem to be anything in here So it seems like we're going to have to get through this guy. Um, gonna, I'm going to go ahead and move this guy in here. Oh, never mind. There's a dude here. Well, he, he's looking out. I don't know if he'll be moving around. Lootable loot box. Oh, that's on, that's on the other side. Uh, this, okay, laser wires adds plus one security tally if tripped. The text, okay, maybe actually Rook can do something with that. Can he actually, that's, is that a level one? Maybe he can actually disable that. How much does this cost? One action point? All right, why don't we get rook inside here and then we'll do this do what we were going to do with the cameras in here and then that might be a better better move okay aaron he's gonna he's sprinting he's uh, sneaking we want him to sprint we'll like have him sprint as far as he can Okay, this is this is good and then emil um emil is at the end of the turn order i'm a little bit worried here because yep 
um, they get their turn, so that means they're going to get to do some stuff and possibly make things more complicated for me. But they didn't. They're, things are actually okay. This guy kind of has line of sight, but no, he's got a range. We are going to make sound, unfortunately. Is Emil just very loud, I wonder? Well, we're, we'll do this. We're going to do it. We'll take a chance. Um, this has alerted everyone, apparently. <laughs> we could have used silence, I suppose. Plus 10% movement speed for remainder of the turn. Yeah, we could have done that. It's fine. We're actually, like, totally good right now. She's got a melee weapon? Does she have the same kind of moves as, as Asha? Charged attack? Kinda. Um, I don't think I have any... Yeah, I don't have any action points left. So I can't really do a lure right now. Hoping to lure them away. So this guy's just looking out. Um, Rook... Disable level one security device within. Okay, so we can disable this. We can disable everything except apparently this level one because we're not in range, I suppose. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and do that. And then we're going to delay the rest of our turn. Yeah. We don't care about that guy. He's he's too far away to matter at this point. I'm a little bit concerned about this camera. I think it's going to pose problems. There's so much stuff here. There's so many people. Um, a little bit concerned about all of the stuff going on here. Like we could start making um, moves. Why don't we go ahead and do activate our silence? And then go over here and like kill this dude. We want to like kill some dudes here so we don't have to worry about this. Because apparently we've got to get in there and grab something. Um, charge attack is two. I don't know how much um, move like sound. Does that generate a bunch of sound? Because if I moved like here uh charge attack is very short range wonder if we could do a lure like we could move here i want to do like a lure select nearby ground to activate Okay, I was I didn't realize that the range was like how many people it's actually gonna, you know, attract. So that's unfortunate. Let's go ahead and oh, is this only gonna? Just it's just one patrolling enemy. Okay. All right, let's delay our action because there's a lot of enemies investigating. Oh no! Spotted. If I can get to there, I could do a charged attack. I don't know if it'll actually kill him. Let's get as close as we can, like right there. Apparently it's going to kill him. Cool. Wait, what? It didn't kill him? Oh, we're screwed. We're like totally screwed. Why didn't it kill him? Ow. Well, that's that. Maybe. Okay, screw it. We're going in loud. Do not group rule. Uh, Emil may actually just die. 
So does this go off as many times as I want until your next turn gain plus 20% ballistic damage while taking up to number reaction shots? One plus three from AP. One plus three from AP at enemies moving or attacking in your weapons 45 degree overwatch. I'm not sure what it means by one plus three from AP, but I feel like that's going to give us the most bang from our buck. So we're going to move there. Yeah, we're alerting everyone. I know. Um, this overwatch doesn't have the greatest angle, I have to say. So I'm going to try and do like that and have watched those three guys. Oh, please move into my overwatch. No. Oh, shoot. Wait, you just straight up moved. W wasn't that guy in my overwatch? Come on, buddy. Oh, my God. Okay, um... This is, uh, this is not going well right now. Pre-computed advantage. Buff a teammate within 25 meters with plus 8 initiative immediately. We have hunker. I don't want to hunker. I want to... Like, I know that... Mm. Buff yourself with plus 5 evasion and plus 10. I mean, it is good. Okay, we're going to go there. Apparently that guy was also overwatching. Um, and then we're going to try and kill anyone. Okay, that was good. We actually, we actually killed someone. All right, Emil. Emil's in a, a lot of trouble right now. Okay, so that's not going to kill him. Would this kill him? No, not even close. All right, let's use our, our blade. It's actually way better. Slash. Oh, it did kill him. I guess we got like a critical. This is two action points, so maybe we can get in and kill someone else as well. We definitely hurt him, but we did not kill him. We have no, we have one action point left. Um, let's use our hunker. Plus 5% evasion, may as well, right? Okay, end our turn. Now, Rook, um, that was a really disappointing display back there, I have to say. That Overwatch didn't really do it. So let's, yeah, let's get a kill. Let's kill, let's get, get another kill. 60% nice all right um you don't have enough to reload do you you do actually oh that's not rook I'm sorry I wasn't talking about rook rook is doing great I'm talking about Aaron he's not doing great um let's go ahead and can we get some can we get another kill actually 41 percent or 26 percent let's go for 41 not bad uh, we actually hit him. Another amazing camera angle, I have to say. They've, they've all been winners. That's fine. We're taking shots, but we're going to be totally fine. There's one down. Uh, we shouldn't be using our silence pistol. I'm not sure why we did that. Might have been why uh, we didn't actually shoot as many people as we wanted as uh, Aaron. We don't have line of sight on this guy. We want line of sight. So if we go like there, we'll have like perfect line of sight of both of them. And we also have enough AP left to take a shot. 63%. I'll take it. Yes. No, she's not dead. How is she not dead? Oh my God. Um, we can do an overwatch. Let's do an overwatch, like, right there. 
I know you're there. Yeah, I'm not trying to be subtle anymore. TBH. Okay, we don't have line of sight on anyone just yet. So if we could go like here looks pretty good. Then we can get some shots on. Um, I, I really want to take out this person. Nice. Shredded. And we have a 54% chance on this Zeta grunt captain. We missed. That's fine. We've been getting very lucky with a lot of these. So I'm, I'm, I, I'm happy to take the fall. Um, let's do a tactical surge. That's a, that's a really good move. In fact, it, it'll let us take another shot. I appreciate, I, I appreciate that that's like retroactive. It, 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 not enough ammo. Okay, well, at least it lets us reload. The fact that it gives us two AP on the spot is a really nice touch. I, I kind of hope that they keep it that way. All right, let's switch back to our gun and take this guy out. Miss? Don't miss. 70%? Okay. One more should do. No, never mind. We're not going to kill this guy. We can hit him again, though. Yes. All right. We did kill him. Um, so on our next turn, um, we're generating enough security. Le we're already at security level three. Good Lord. These guys are suspicious. Bad things are happening. Recover the Q endpoint. Kill the ghost wire. Complete in 12 turns or less. What turn are we on? Turn six. We might actually achieve that still. So, um, we're going to want Rook. Wait, what? Oh, is it Aaron's turn? Um, can you delay? You can't delay. I think there's a bug happening here. I don't think that some this is supposed to happen. We could trigger the security, but I was kind of hoping to turn that off with a uh, rook. Starting turn seven. Okay, so they've spawned two more goons. Found the missing guard. Okay, so like um, actually leaving bodies behind does like generate an advancement. Yeah, I've got a weird bug happening here where the turn order is kind of funky. It's showing me enemy turn orders. Oh, Rook. Okay. Um, let's... I, I wanted to start with Rook and um, disable that camera. I know there's probably no point. Like, look how much security we're, we're generating right now. Every turn, our presence increases the security tally by two. Um, and then I want to get in here... And I might even be able to secure whatever it is. Yep. We've got hands on the drop box. We only have a short window to hunt down the syndicate's ghost wire. Ghoul soldiers aren't going to let you slip away easily. So where is the ghost? Oh man, that's such a bad place we have to go to. Got one lined up. You'll want to pull a tactical retreat to a nearby freight elevator. So where is this ghost wire? Um, I want to grab some stuff as well. I'll have someone else do it, maybe? What is this? Motion field sensor. Matrix host, hackers only. Click to approach. Once near, click to start a hack. Um, is Rook a hack? hacker? He seems kind of hacky. I mean, he seems to be able to shut down security devices. I don't think he's going to be able to get out of there in time. That camera is going to boot up. That's a shame. Um, so we have to get all the way over there. That is kind of a bummer. And we can't get back the way we came, so we got to go this way. And there's just so many motion sensors and stuff in the in the way. Um, like we can make moves, but I don't know what happens when we trip this, for instance. Let's find out. Boop, boop, boop. Something happened. I assume it just means we generate more, like, you know, we're, we're, we're more loud now. 
So Emil, um, what's going on with Emil? She's got three pips le on her left side there. Does that? I wonder if that means that she's um, generating a lot of security, like a lot of noise right now. Motion sensor picking up movement. Yeah, I don't think it matters too much, especially now that like everyone is aware of us. Now, I would, uh, if I was playing this game legit, would want to loot that container, but um, for now, I, I would prefer to just, like, get through um, this mission. So let's use our silence ability. Even though we are, like, as loud as possible, it's still a good idea so that we get the drop on people. Not enough ammo. Oh, we got to reload. I keep forgetting to reload. Disable level one security device. Oh, we can uh, disable devices. Oops. I really should have paid closer attention to that. Nice. One down. So I'm not sure how we are supposed to find out where this ghost wire is. I don't know. You know what? Never mind. I, I guess I am going to loot this box. Access card. Valuable corporate property that can be sold or traded. Okay. It says it's rare. I'm willing to believe them. Poor Rook is like really, really in there. All right, now, Aaron, yeah, we can take out that, that other guy, and we're going to do it loud. Ninety-two percent, and it we should have enough um, to, to kill them. Perfect. I notice we're... I feel like we are escalating. I think that uh, even just killing people can can generate security, even if you do it silently. And I do uh, appreciate that. Like, I, I I think that this game is incentivizing um, stealth as much as possible. That being said, I mean, I, I think you can do this loud um, without worrying too much. So we're on turn nine. I still think that we can... Um, we could probably finish before turn 12. Oh, we're just going to we're going to we're just going to do this as is is like quickly as we can. Camera or no camera. It sucks there's a dude like right there. Um, why don't we go ahead and delay our action? We should be able to actually kill that guy if we get into the right position. That's not a bad one there. Apparently that's a free action. I don't know if that if that's what that means. 70%. We have two shots with our gun left. So if we miss this, we can't hit him with a mill. We we got it. Nice. Um, let's get into this crevice here and then reload. I don't I don't suspect we'll have to do any more combat. That seems to be like the end of it. Um, we can actually do a little bit more. Oh God, that's a mine. Proxy mine triggered. Oops, that's a mine apparently. <laughs> Just go in and nonchalantly blowing up mines. It's a stealth game. <laughs> um, all right, let's. Uh, I think we. Yeah, Aaron can sprint all the way there. Nice. Good job. Good job, Aaron. All right, now Rook doesn't have enough movement, but he doesn't have as much to worry about, especially without that mine there. And the turn, Emil. 
Do you, do you, do you, uh oh. They're bringing out the big guns. It really doesn't matter. Kill the ghost wire. We never did kill the ghost wire, and I don't know what that means still. There's a lot of dudes who get to take a turn before Rook. <laughs> Uh, one thing I, I have mentioned this as a this is a preference thing in the past uh, that I've mentioned, but I do appreciate that um, this game is has a relatively small squad of of like um, usable characters. I'm not a huge fan of uh, again total preferencing. I'm not a huge fan of ga uh, tactics games that take advantage of like ten to twelve characters it's they're not they're not common but i've just noticed that i i can't do it it's just not something that it's just not for me so i do appreciate having a small squad of characters with a lot of like agency a lot of options rather than like a huge squad of like 12 characters and they all have like one different thing that they can do not a huge fan um so we can't skip so I'm going to have to mash the button. Why is Ghoul really coming after you? This is all kinds of deep lore that I will find out more in the actual full game. This is a uh, really good. I do think it uh, needs some more time in the oven, but not much more time. I mean, um, a couple interface things here and there could using uh, could, could use touching up. Um, but and like obviously I'd like to see some of the deeper mechanics, but the actual like moment to moment gameplay in this is really really good um and uh i i honestly think this this holds up to uh games like xcom and xcom 2 um obviously those games have a bigger budget but um i think the mechanics of this is is good um you know it it, it keeps it um like relevant to, to those games so um i'm actually looking forward to when this comes out i don't know when that is but uh hopefully Maybe this year? Let's let's go ahead and let me just like go ahead and tell you. Cyber Knights comes out Q3, so potentially this year. Um, but if it got delayed, then you know that uh, that is a uh, reality. <laughs> we have to. You gotta. You're gonna have to live with that weight, soldier. Um, so Cyber Knights Flashpoint, um, promising. I like it a lot. So. Have you played it? Let me know in the comments. And if you uh, enjoyed this video, definitely hit that like button. Consider subscribing for more content like this. I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.